Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, thank you. Very excited. Okay, good. Tell me what you want to get done today. So I want to do um, Botox and then I want to do filler as well for my smile line and just to look younger and more refreshed. Okay, good. Have you done either of them before? I have, yes. Okay. So I've done Botox okay. and then I've done a little bit of filler as well. So I typically do my um, crow's feet and okay. then um, just wherever I feel like I, I'm needing like a touch up. So okay. usually like my forehead okay. is typically what I do. And then I would love to do a lip flip just to make my lips look more oh. plump and fuller and cool. just like accentuate already what I really like. Do you ever do the area between your eyebrows? I have, yes. Okay, cool. So is that something you also want to get done today? Yes. Okay. And then actually, um, what would be interesting is maybe seeing if you think that I should accentuate my eyebrows a little bit more, make them higher, lifted, or just kind of leave them as they are. So with Botox or any neuromodulator, because we have multiple kinds here, we have Botox and Xeomin, um, we can actually relax the muscle right here around the eye, okay. and that kind of helps give the eyebrow a lifted look. Ooh, okay. um, I'll tell you my expertise though, you have these perfect lifted eyebrows already. <laughs> okay. I don't want to make them go too high because okay. sometimes when eyebrows are like a little sky high, it kind of gives that look of like, you know, maybe like an angry look or okay. it might make it look a little <laughs> obvious that you got work done. So what I would say is we can treat the crow's feet area. We can treat this muscle totally fine, okay. um, but I wouldn't want to make the eyebrows go any higher. Okay. So maybe we can kind of like balance out this area by treating a little bit above the eyebrow on your forehead. That that'll kind of help balance it out so they're not too pointy. And then I know you said with the dermal filler, mm -hmm. you kind of want to fill this area right here. I'll tell you a little bit about filling the laugh lines though, okay? okay. At your age, because you're so young, we want to <laughs> stay away from overfilling the lines um, around the mouth. Now that's not to say we can't give you like a little bit, just soften it up, but we always run the risk of giving somebody like a overfilled look when we go straight to the laugh lines. So sometimes what we like to do is actually target the problem here by giving filler up in the cheeks. Okay. And that kind of helps lift up the nasolabial fold area. I do know that you are, you really like your um, cheekbones and mm -hmm. they're already pretty prominent. So it's okay for us to kind of jump in and just fill your laugh lines, but we just have to keep it kind of conservative because sometimes when we overfill this area or someone continues to get filler in the same area, especially the laugh lines over and over, we run the risk of making the face look a little simian-like. Okay. So it kind of starts to protrude out and then it kind of has the opposite effect of making you look youthful. So we'll definitely be able to give you some dermal filler in that area and soften it up, but I'm gonna keep it on the lower side just so it looks a little more natural and not overfilled. Unit check. So I'm going to have you start off by raising your eyebrows. Good, just a little bit of movement. I would probably just give you two, four, six, eight, maybe about eight units up through the top of your forehead. That'll kind of help smooth out any of the fine lines here. And then it'll kind of help drop that eyebrow just slightly so that when it's lifted from the side here, it won't be too high. Okay. And then now I'm gonna have you furrow your eyebrows. So make an angry face, perfect. So you have some good movement here. You're eliciting that those little 11s is what we call them, right? The two lines that we have when we bring our eyebrows together. Um, typically I like to put four units in each of the three muscles here. So I'll give you about 12 units. I don't think you need any more than that. And then for your crow's feet, um, go ahead and give me a nice big cheesy smile. A little crease right here by the lateral canthus of your eye, that's the corner of the eye. So I can give you, I would say maybe like two units here and then two units at the tail end of the eyebrow. That's gonna help open up the eye a little bit, give you that lift you're looking for. And then the lip flip, which is, is that something that you've ever done before? I have, yeah, oh, okay, and I good. actually, I really like that oh, it extends good, my lips. Good. I would say we'll do two units on each side of the upper lip. It'll give you that nice lift. We'll definitely do some of that dermal filler in your laugh lines too. That'll definitely help soften everything up. Okay, let's go to the treatment room now. I'm gonna get a half of the time to move. We be doing that as a calamazoo. Yeah. Thinking I'm a platinum to sign in a room. And people gonna be tracking me down for the truth. Oh, no, 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 that's true. Oh, no, no, we don't lose. Oh, no, no, we get loose. We be doing that as a calamazoo. Yeah. Thinking I'm a platinum to sign in a room.
down with the truth. Ready to be a laser babe? Three steps. One, subscribe to our channel. Two, watch more amazing videos. And three, schedule your free virtual consultation for any of our services by clicking the link below. Then we can be friends in real life.